So I gotta say, I gotta start off. This is my favorite room of the day because huh. this is my favorite show on Netflix. Right oh, now, thank Lost you so much. Thank you. That makes me How so happy. How does it feel to have a hit television show? It's pretty. I mean, it's surreal. I'm seeing all of the reactions that we're getting, all of the DMs that have come in, and people that have said, "My daughter loves this show," or "Or my family watches this show together because we put." seven months and so much love into the story and this family, seeing people connect with the characters and, and fall in love with the story like we did, it's insane. Well, yeah, I mean, what Mina said, we've put, like, we've put seven months and then everyone else says, like, the executive producers, they've been writing this for like three years yeah. and stuff yeah. like that. Um, so getting that um, fan stuff saying, like, we love this is, that really makes me feel like I've done something that I can do justice yeah. to, uh, mm -hmm. like it can do justice to the original series, because I was worried about not living up to that reputation. Yeah, because that's what I was going to say. It's like, so this is like a fresh take on the 60s series. So what, what I want to ask is, what are your favorite parts of your characters? I really like that Will, he is a prime example of a lot of kids today, and they don't feel like they belong. They feel like they have to be someone else. They mm -hmm. uh, they struggle with anxiety, and um, and that's what a lot of kids go through today. I think that Will being able to look past a lot of people, uh, like the scary outside mm -hmm. of the robot, and seeing the good inside, is something that helped him grow up and become, you know, who he is. Mm -hmm. I think Penny is so. She's stronger than she realizes that she is, and that's something that she's slowly discovering, and I hope that she gets a little more balanced with age, but um, she's always so true to who she is, and it's kind of this energy of, I'm standing my place, you know, take it or leave it, but no matter what situation I'm in, if I'm uncomfortable, or if I don't necessarily feel like an insider, I feel like I'm, I'm pushed a little bit outside, it's because she's the only non science -y person in this whole science mission, uh, she's always, authentic and she she never has a filter she says whatever she wants whenever she wants and that makes parts of her personality that I look up to a lot because it's she doesn't she doesn't take any BS yeah. <laughs> exactly. from nobody <laughs> so the CJ. one question that everyone wanted to ask me is about the robot yes. and whether it's an actually a guy in a suit is it CGI and talk a little bit about uh, maybe the difficulties or the challenges of acting against a uh, character that doesn't speak mm -hmm. it um it certainly was an adventure um yes it is uh there is a person in the suit sometimes um, other times it's CGI'd, but when the person is in the suit, there is so much CGI that goes into it. There are so many pieces. He's such an amazing actor that it looks and feels like you're talking with a robot. And um, it was an adventure in the beginning, but uh, after after a little bit, it kind of felt like I was talking with my um, with my two pupils back at home, who happen to be my best friends. Um, they're fierce protectors. They're loyal. They're kind. They're sweet. They were rescued, just like the robot. But they get a bad reputation. I mean, people will cross the street just so they can avoid my pit bulls. Um, and, you know, the robot is a lot like them. And that made me feel kind of safe, and it made acting with the robot comfortable. Mm -hmm. Do you have a favorite and least favorite part of your costume? Like. <laughs> Maybe when y'all are putting like the favorite, big, you know, everybody the space suit. The space suit. Uh, yeah, favorite. and everybody else's answer is least favorite. The space suit. <laughs> they are so aesthetically gorgeous. They look amazing on screen, but there are so many little parts that just. They're very, very tight. It's very strangling and hard to breathe. And there are these screws that are right yeah. in the knee. And Toby talks about this all the time, right in the knee. And we do a lot of kneeling and standing yeah. up. There's more, it feels like more kneeling and standing up than you would expect. That just like, they just go right in there. So I would actually say least favorite for wearing purposes, yeah. the spacesuit. I mean, the screws were a bit tough, but uh, in the beginning I did ask for them to like put like moleskin there so it wouldn't get through. He was smart. It's fine. Thank you. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Appreciate it.